What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts and today let's check out a South Park episode you recommended from season 8. This is Goobax. Let's do this. Snacky cakes. Interstate 285? Are they in Georgia right now? That's home. This episode is already starting off right. Get Terminator, Terminator 2 feels. What? <laughs> oh, man. Yes? Hello, man. We're going around town and offering snow <laughs> shoveling so nice. service. Would you like your driveway and sidewalk shoveled for $8,000? $8,000? $8,000 seems a little steep. How yeah. about $10? Ooh, ouch, man, please, let go of that tight grip you have on my bars. Ten dollars, you're breaking my bars, man. You're breaking my bars here, huh? You're breaking my bars. How about fifteen dollars? It's a deal. All right, guys, let's get to work. That's some smart negotiating, pitching this super high price so you can haggle a better base price for your service. Man, Carp is good at business. He's just a jerk. Yeah, that was totally awesome. Craig crapped his pants when he saw it. He should he did be not. Mad. Oh, dude, that is so weak. You've been on your fucking phone since we started. Dude, I'm taking a break. Exactly. A break from what? You haven't done anything. Did I not just get us an extra five bucks? If you want your share of the money, then you're gonna shovel snow like the rest of us. Don't boss me around, you fucking Jew. I will kick your ass. Ma'am, do you have a rag and some bandages? Uh -huh. Oh, goodness, what happened? Shoveling accident. Kyle beat that ass is what happened. <laughs> you're so lucky I have a sore shoulder, Kyle, or else I would've let you have it. Carmen, just keep your mouth shut. A man from the future has come back in time and is in a government hospital after being hit by a car. Experts and scientists have been with the man from the future for several hours now and have been able to learn that he is from the year 3045. Whoa. The man from 1,000 years in the future has come to our time looking for work. Uh, he has said that the future okay. is so overwhelmingly overpopulated that there are simply no jobs in his time. And so he built a time portal and has come back to 21st century America uh, to find a job here. Wow. So that he can put the money he earns into a savings account, uh, which will earn interest, and by the year 3045 be worth billions of dollars, uh, which of course in the future will be worth only hundreds of dollars, but uh, enough he says to feed his family. <laughs> a thousand years of inflation is no joke. Aaron, I'm standing at the time portal, which scientists say follows Terminator rules. That's that is, it. it's one way only, and you can't go back. This is in contrast to, say, Back to the Future rules, where back and forth is possible. And, of course, okay. Time Rider rules, which are just plain silly. That's awesome. <laughs> they found a man from the future. We know, Stanley. We've been watching. It appears another person from the future has just arrived. Oh. It looks as if the job at Wendy's did work for the original immigrant. This second arrivee claims that man's family is now much better off and wishes the same for his family. I'll just send them all through. Whoa. Interesting. Hmm. Immigrants crossing a time border? Is that why the title of this episode almost kind of sounds like a slur? Ooh. Hello, Mrs. Landis. Would you like snow shoveling service again today? I'm sorry, boys, but I've already hired someone else to do it. One of those immigrants from the future, he said he would do it for 25 cents. 25 oh. cents? Well, that's not even worth it. Undercut him. Oh. Son of a bitch. More immigrants from the future arrived at the time border today, some even bringing their entire families. The purplish goo that they have on their bodies when they arrive is an ectoplasmic side effect of the time travel process. This is all giving scientists a great opportunity to learn even more about American life in the future. It appears that in the future, Americans have evolved into a hairless, uniform mix of all races. A yellowy, light brownish, whitish color. <laughs> the people in the future speak a complete mix of English, Chinese, Turkish, and indeed all world languages, which sounds something like this. Back to you, Aaron. <laughs> Since they offer to work for such low wages, they're being hired all over America. Now these people from the future are showing up and offering to do the same work for next to nothing. They took our jobs! Yeah, yeah they did! They took our jobs! They did! What about us in the fast food business? The restaurants are firing us because the future people work for a lot less. They took our jobs! 
Hey, you did your job! You did your job! You did your job! Me and my friends started our own snow shoveling business, but then the people from the future came along, and, and now we're out of work, too. Oh, they took our job! They took your job! <laughs> they took your job! Took your job! Classic. Oh, goodness. Oh! It's almost 8 o'clock. Where have you been? I was at a rally to protest all the immigrants from the future coming in and trying to... Oh, yes, uh, the laundry machine is down in the basement, and our son is home. Could you please set the table for dinner? That's our new housekeeper, Mrs. Whoa. She's going to help around the house on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and she'll do it for 10 cents an hour. Those goobacks are taking our jobs! Stan Marsh, how dare you use that time-bashing slur! They're only taking the small, menial jobs that nobody else really wants to do. Those people from the future have had a hard life. Where they come from is dirty and overpopulated and poor. So for us, who have everything so good, to judge them is wrong. Do you understand? Next time you think about calling them goo bags, you might want to just stop for a second and think about how crappy the future really is. We're not raising our son to be an ignorant time cyst. Time cyst? Time cyst. I know, a racist, but against people, people from People from the future. Right, got it. All right, good. <laughs> And now, here is Bill O'Reilly. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Now, I've got two guests with me tonight who have opposing views on the matter. On my right is pissed off white trash redneck conservative. Thanks for having me, Bill. And on my left is aging hippie liberal douche. Hello. <laughs> These people from the future are taking all the work away from us decent present day Americans. They took our job! They took our jobs! It's typical for conservative rednecks like these to view the immigrants as the problem. But Left really, right. the problem is America. It is our greedy multinational corporations that keep everyone else in poverty. Your ancestors came to America as immigrants. What right do you have to turn these people away? All right, redneck, your rebuttal. Mm. They took our jobs! <laughs> they took our jobs! The school board has mandated that I must now teach class in both present-day English and future speak. Remember that there are transitive verbs such as the boy threw the red ball, which in future speak, of course, is... Everyone say it with me. Jimmy. The 11.15 bus from Denver arrived 12 hours late. Or in future speak. What? What? <laughs> if they want to live in our time, then they should learn our language. Yeah! yeah right. right! Hey now, these immigrants have a right to retain their culture. Where did he come from? we to say our language is best. They deserve to have an education just as much as you do. The sad girl puts balls in her mouth. Or in future speak, of course. Right, right. Balls. Right, right. <laughs> Dear intolerant rednecks, we sympathize with you all losing your jobs. However, we feel your solution of shooting everyone who crosses the time border is inhumane. I can't do that. That was a good idea. So it appears it? the government ain't gonna help us. The only way to stop people from the future is to stop the future from happening. There is no future, then there'll be no people from the future to come back and take our jobs. Wait. Wait. So, any ideas how we can stop the future from happening? How about we cause more global warming so that in the future, the polar ice caps melt and, and it ushers in a new ice age? How the hell is global warming going to cause an ice age? Chet, you are a fucking retard. You know that even <laughs> if global warming were real, it would take millions of years for a climate shift to happen. Well, I was just trying to be helpful. Well, help yourself to a fucking science book because you're talking like a fucking retard. Now, come on, people. We've got to think. What a DeLorean with some hydraulics on it? This is so silly, man. Can you speak in present-day English, please? Oh, oh. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I want a double cheeseburger and fries. Chicken sandwich? No, a double cheeseburger and fries. We can't understand you, asshole. Chicken sandwich. No, not a chicken sandwich. I want a goddamn cheeseburger and some goddamn fries, you fucking goo bags. Uh oh. Dan Marsh. Uh oh. Hey, I got an idea. Uh, maybe we should all take off all our clothes, scramble into a big pile, and start getting gay with each other. <laughs> you say get gay? 
Hey, yeah, well, that's not a bad idea. There's no such thing as a bad idea when you're brainstorming. Ah, uh, into a pile. Think about it, these people are from the future, right? Well, if we can get everyone to turn qu then there won't be no children to have no children, and the people from the future won't exist to take our down! Interesting. I ain't turning qu You have to, Jimbo, or else they won't be able to stop them, damn it, they took Let's go over to that part of town that all the future people moved into, and start humping each other until they disappear. Come on! <laughs> he just... Come on! You want your jobs back or not? Oh, this is great. <laughs> little future, like little Tokyo? Alright, you future bastards! Break Think dancing. you can take our jobs? Well, we'll show you. <laughs> Come on, you guys! Leaves <laughs> in America join in with us. We're gonna make these future bastards non existent. Uh, come on, Dad. How come I have to go to work with you? Because you're being grounded, Stanley. Now I don't want to hear another word out of your intolerant mouth. Uh, Randy, I'm surprised to see you here. Why? This is my office. Oh, boy, didn't you get my phone message? You've been replaced. Oh, what? No. We found an immigrant from the future who knows geology and he offered to work for next to nothing. This is Mr. We'll give you some time to clean out your desk. Follow me, Mr. I'll show you to the coffee room. They took my job! They took your job! I'm standing at the time border where some kind of mass protest has broken out. Hundreds of men who have lost their jobs to time immigrants are here having sex with one another. These men have apparently sucked and screwed their way across the state and are now here at the time border trying to get national attention. These unemployed men have been having sex for several days. Joining me now is their spokesperson, Randy Marsh. We're doing the only thing we can do. If our government is just going to let anybody into our time who wants to come, then we have to take matters into our own hands. We're trying to turn everyone gay so that there are no future humans. Do you really think you can get enough people to turn gay to destroy the future of humanity? Trying to stop immigration is intolerant and ignorant. Those immigrants have a right to pursue happiness. I, I think it's wrong to call them goo bags because they're no different from us. They're just humans trying to make their lives better. It sucks that the immigrants' time is so crappy, but the cold hard truth is that if we let them all come back to our time, then it's just gonna make our time crappy too. Maybe the answer isn't trying to stop the future from happening, but making the future better. Huh? I mean, maybe if we all commit right now to working towards a better future, then, then the future won't be so bad and these immigrants won't need to come back here looking for work. Hey, he's right. If we build for a better future, the immigrants will stay there. We've got to work for a better future. We've got to join hands for tomorrow. Take the first step and you will see the future begins with you and me. Look, it's working! The future begins with you and me. The immigrants are fading away! We're doing it! We've got to work for a better future. Take the first step and you will see. Great. Wait, wait, future. wait, hold on, wait a second. This is gay. Yeah, this is even gayer than all the men getting in a big pile and having sex with each other. Okay, sorry, my bad. Everyone back in the pile. Back in the pile, everyone! We're going yes. back to the pile. Jump in! Oh, everybody! <laughs> We're going back in the pile! <laughs> We've got to work for a better future. We've got to join hands for tomorrow. <laughs> Interesting episode, incredibly silly episode, and in classic South Park fashion, it anchors to some real world issues and real world debates. And I can finally say I know where they took our jobs comes from. Thanks for recommending this one. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Damn it, they took